case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2008, the Supreme Court of the United States heard a seminal case, Gonzalez v. United States, focusing on the role that non-Article III judges could play in felony criminal trials. At the heart of the discussion was a query about the necessity of a defendant's consent. Would the authorization of a non-Article III judge to preside over jury selection be valid with just the counsel's consent, or would it require the defendant's explicit agreement as well? The debate originated from a drug offense case trialed in the Southern District of Texas. Homero Gonzalez, the defendant, was indicted on five felony drug counts. At the jury selection stage, a magistrate judge sought the attorney's consent to supervise the process. While Gonzalez's counsel consented, Gonzalez himself wasn't asked directly. Sparking the court's deliberation about the validity of counsel consent, sans the defendant's express agreement. The Supreme Court ultimately ruled in favor of the decision taken in the lower court, endorsing the concept of a magistrate judge overseeing voir dire with only the consent of the counsel. The judge's role, it elaborated, was within the jurisdiction that Congress had deemed permissible. Furthermore, the court declared that supervising voir dire did not necessitate the defendant's individual consent, distinguishing it from other stages of trial procedures that would. The ruling emphasizes the power and responsibility imparted to an attorney, reinforcing their duty to represent their client's best interests. This decision reshaped the conversation around the boundaries of consent in the legal discourse, and its echoes can still be heard today. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. Hi.